The fridge temp is reading too high. Check for any ice buildup at the vents. And here too. Now remove the two vents by simply gently pulling forward. Here is the left hand side vent. And here is the right hand side vent. For your safety, it is essential that you unplug your appliance before removing the panel. Unplug now for your own safety. Four screws hold the back panel in place. First one here. Second one here. Third one here. Last one here. Now unscrew the two water bottle screws. Once you have removed the four screws from the back panel and the water bottle, the panel itself is ready to be removed. The best way to do this is to gently pry the top half away first. At this point it's best to look down the inside of the panel checking for ice. If you can't free the panel away, the best thing to do is to pour hot water down the inside to melt the excess ice. Take care to have a good look down to see there aren't any pipes etc stuck to the panel before pulling forward. Make sure you unplug the panel connector. There are two plugs at the top right corner. You should now be able to pull the panel forward. Watch out for ice down the sides that the panel can stick. Now you can see the cooler section covered in ice. This one is particularly bad. The quickest and best way to get rid of the ice is to simply pour hot water over the cooler. You can try melting the ice with a hairdryer or even by carefully pouring hot water over the ice and then refitting the panel. This is likely to provide a temporary fix, but in all probability, the problem will reoccur. The best solution to extend the life of your appliance is to fit a genuine Samsung repair kit which comes with all the upgraded parts designed to prevent the ice build issue.